Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Outlaws. This is part 5. Last episode we made things a little bit hard for ourselves by going ahead and making a couple of challenges, by going ahead and doing the gym first and stuff like that. Had ourselves our rival battle against Leaf, who is apparently after us in a romantic way, which is kind of interesting. But we then got to Nugget Bridge, we saw that everything was level 10 again, so I'm imagining things are going to calm down quite a bit. We're going to have a nice relaxing time for us to turn front. Probably gonna just bop everything on this bridge, including this lady that just says I have a dumb face, which, you know, fair point, I guess, but still rude. <laughs> so, we're probably just gonna bop everything. I would kind of like to see Raster evolve this episode. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get enough XP to do it. I feel like four levels is definitely in our reach, but also we're fighting things that are quite a low level at the moment. Obviously, as Nugget Bridge goes on, Pokemon gets stronger. So, we might be able to get ourselves a Raticate before the end of the episode, because I feel like Raticate would be a nice power increase, because to be honest, I really have underestimated Raster up to this point. I really didn't think that it was that good. Hyper Fang is not a bad move. It's really not. It's just super early strength, essentially, which, as far as early game moves go, base 80 power is very, very strong. I know in Gen 4, Starly gets um, Wing Attack pretty early, like level 9, and that's crazy strong, just for that early in the game, so it's a little bit like that. It's kind of why Starly's one of my favorite Pokemon, to be honest. Best, best bud. Best bud. Strapped best bud. So, kind of the same concept, to be honest. Give me a damn money, fool. I, I don't have any money to give. You know, I came from the slums. I, I don't think this is a... I don't think this is gonna work in your favor. I mean, maybe I could give you, like... I, I was gonna name something I have, but to be honest, I don't really know what I have. The Sandshrew? But then again, he already has a Sandshrew. Like, that's the only thing I'm willing to part with at this point, which is funny, because, like, the actual Pokemon on the box cover art of this game is a Sand Slash, and all I've done so far is complain about how bad Sandshrew is. Which, uh... Yeah, it's... It's funny how that worked out, huh? It's a little bit funny how that worked out. I really did think, because it was the cover art of the game, the Pokemon itself would have a couple of moveset changes early to make it a little bit better. I will admit, I could have definitely put Iron Tail on it, and that could have given it a little bit more coverage, and it would have been a little bit better, but at the same time, no ground type move? That's rough. That's really rough. And to be honest, I don't know if I want to use the Sandshrew of no ground type move. Ever. Regardless of whether it has Iron Tail or not, that just doesn't seem like a fun Pokemon to use. So, if we find ourselves Geodude, might genuinely pick that up. If we find ourselves something else that's also ground type, might pick that up too. But at the moment, who knows? Who knows what's going to be added to our team. It's kind of up in the air at the moment. Whatever we find that's good, I'm just going to take and we're going to roll with that. I didn't get poisoned by Poison Sting. Maybe it's because I didn't say I was going to get poisoned by Poison Sting. I'm going to test that next time I see something with Poison Sting. I feel like the more I say I'm going to get poisoned, the more I do get poisoned. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but I don't know. Being tired? No? Okay. Not really. So far, the battles haven't been too crazy compared to Misty the Gym Leader, so I think we're fine. Oh, well, here we go. If this thing goes for Poison Sting, we're getting poisoned. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, okay? If I predict it, it happens. Ready? That's not Poison Sting. That's Leah. That's not... Poison Coin? Poison Coin? Poison Coin? Can I predict it? I'm not getting poisoned today. Today is a great day. Today is a wonderful day. A wonderful day with no poison. <laughs> now I've jinxed it. Now, now I've gone ahead and jinxed it, alright? Yeah, okay, alright, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally deserve that one, okay? <laughs> that's what I get. Uh, oh, that's typical how that works out. That, yeah, okay, alright. That makes sense. And then we miss? Okay, alright, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. Still, up to this point, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'll, I'll happily take that. That was kind of funny. Uh, stupid things make me laugh. They really do. So we have one more trainer who realistically is the strongest trainer. But I think we're just gonna go ahead and go straight into the fight. I'm pretty confident in my team. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stomp you. Please don't actually stomp me, because I'm poisoned at the moment. You know, half health. I have the rest of my team, so I should be fine. Mankey is gonna bop Rasta regardless, so I guess I'm just gonna try and get Hyper Fang off before I get bopped. Oh, we don't have speed. 
Oh, don't land, don't land five, don't land five. We can survive four, we can survive four. Imagine if we crit right there. Imagine. That could have been so huge. It could have been. It truly could have been. Still, this wasn't a bad fight, I suppose. It did land four, and I mean... Admittedly, it would have been better if I just missed the move straight up, but honestly... <laughs> it's fine. I wasn't expecting to win against the Mancuba Raster anyway, because I expected it just to go for cry chop, but for whatever reason, he wanted to flex that he can hit multiple Fury Swipes, which... You know, if I could hit multiple Fury Swipes, I'd probably do the same. I'd use the move in that case, because it wouldn't be bad. However, using the move when it only hits twice? That's yikes. That's not fun. Right, so... We have a Team Rocket member up the top, which actually reminds me, lots of people have been saying for me to check out Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. That, honestly, might be next up. Liquid Crystal uh, is still something that I kind of want to play. I think it was called Liquid Crystal. My brain style not working, but it was definitely Crystal. Um, that's also a game I kind of want to play, so I assume, this is a bold assumption of me, but I assume Adventures Red is going to come to a close within the next, like, 10 to 15 episodes. I know bold assumption could be completely wrong on that. The Orange Archipelago is pretty long after all, um, but I'm thinking Team Rocket Edition will probably be after that, and Liquid Crystal will be after Pokemon Outlaw. That's the plan. Well, actually, not after Pokemon Outlaw, because we have to go back to Kaiser Emeralds, but you know what I mean. Like, after Kaiser Emeralds is done in Pokemon Outlaw, then we'll do Liquid Crystal, Team Rocket Edition after Adventures Red. I'm I'm brainstorming. This is not set in stone. Don't take this too seriously. Obviously, things can change. I might wake up in the morning one day and be like, you know what? No, a new game came out today. We're playing this. Could be that simple. So, take everything with with the thought that it could be changed, but that's the plan in my, in my mind at the moment. Because this is like the first time I've actually had things this planned out, so don't expect it to stay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's definitely a game that I do like the sound of, that being Team Rocket Edition, because I do like the idea of seeing things. This game, this game is great, right? It's relaxing though. <laughs> and, uh, and I would like to steal some stuff. I want to steal that bicycle in particular. In particular, I really wanted to steal a bicycle. In particular, a tricycle. To be honest, that would be hilarious. If you tell me that Team Rocket Edition has tricycles, I'll play it right now, okay? I'll actually. Do you want heroin? It tastes like sprinkles. I don't... Alright, I don't actually know much about drugs. I've generally just stayed away from all drugs, okay? A couple of my friends have done weed a couple times, so that's about it. Uh, but I don't think you eat heroin. I feel like you inject heroin. I don't know. I'm probably I'm, I'm I'm probably being stupid. Maybe you do. Maybe you do eat heroin. Maybe this dude is just so high he thinks he can eat heroin. I don't know. No, go f yourself. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's pretty rude. Is there an item down here? There's not. Okay. I could have seen that on the bridge when I came down here, but I wasn't paying attention. So never mind. <laughs> I definitely could have just looked better. I would like to see some more some more Pokemon. Like, Gen 1 is nice and all, and I get Dev to Kanto. Okay, not quite where I was going with that. Not quite where I was going with that, buddy, but, uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, maybe a few less Gen 1 Pokemon, a few more of Gen 2 and Gen 3 sprinkled about, but maybe not Dev to Kanto. You know? That <laughs> surprisingly thing to what I was saying, I guess. We're slowly working our way through these levels for Asta. We will get a Raskate. I think we will. Two levels to go. We have a bunch of trainers up here. We should be fine. We should be fine. I'm curious as to what is going to be happening with Bill. I do think he's going to have, like, some kind of mutant army. I really do. Which, to be honest, kind of excited to see. I want to see his mutant army. Did we just get back-to-back... Crits with bite, or did we flinch the first time? I think we flinched the first bite, actually. I don't think we got back-to-back -back crits. I thought not. Thought not about, about what? I'm trying to start a terrorist organization. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. That's bad, okay? Don't do that. So I'm gonna cult, maybe. You know, cults, sure. Terrorism? No, 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 no. Uh, is this an item? 
It is. We found ourselves a Petra Berry. Are we going to use a Petra Berry? Probably not, but we found it. We did find it. Uh, as we have two hikers coming up, the logical thing for me to do is to put Oddish in front, because they should be using rock, ground, and fighting types. My wife cheated on me, so I killed her. I'm hiding up here, buddy. You know... You know... That's a thing. It's a thing you can do. Kind of. I mean, you shouldn't. But, you did it. What a lad. What a lad. You did it. I don't want this big to say what a lad too, but you know, what a lad. <laughs> um, I think we win this. We've seen the Oddish has beaten matchup in this matchup before. Just go for low kick and do two damage. You know you want to. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't do it. The thing about matchup is it's a good Pokemon. It has some really good stats, right? Even as a champ, still got some really good stats. But its level up moveset is literally just fighting type moves. That's all it gets. It gets zero coverage for anything else. It's just fighting type moves. Maybe a normal type move alongside it. It's rough. It's pretty rough to be a shot. It really is. It doesn't get any good coverage. Like if it got, you know, maybe a ground type move, maybe, maybe like elemental punches through level up or something, then it'd be really good, but it just doesn't. Do I want sleep powder? Kinda. Kinda. I feel like Sleep Powder is just better than Stun Spore. Am I going to use Sweet Sound? No. No, I'm not. This isn't Kaizo Emerald. I don't need that to find Pokemon in this game. I can find Pokemon by walking in the grass. So yeah, sure. We'll just have all three Powder moves. Why not? Who's going to stop me? Franklin? Fra Franklin, he might... He could probably stop me. You know, he's already confirmed that he is a murderer, he might actually try and stop me. That would be pretty rough and that would not be a good thing. So, you know what, Franklin, I'm sorry. I hope you like powder moves, because I'm using all three. You worked hard. Ah, he's a fan of it. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Wait for the Statue of Limitations. I don't know what that means. Go see Bill. Bill sucks, bro. Bill sucks. Why does he suck? Does he suck because he has an army of the mortal Pokemon clones? Is that why he sucks? Because that doesn't suck to me. That sounds kind of interesting, to be honest. That, that sounds like something I'm interested in. I want an army of, like, a mortal clones. That did some damage. How about you calm down, Onyx? I might genuinely one-shot this and get all of my health back. Oh, so close. So close. I thought it was going to be, like, exactly 20. You know, that was pretty close, though. I under- I slightly overestimated that Onyx's HP by one singular point. Dang. Dang. Anyway, back to Rasta being in front, as we are no longer dealing with hikers, I'm gonna continue battling all of these people for the XP. I'm gonna be champion one day. Please tell me you have a level one Rasta. Youngster Joey? He does. You know what? Youngster Joey should be champion. I would love it if one day a Pokemon game came out not fan game, because I imagine it's probably already happened in a lesser known fan game that I just don't know about. But in a mainstream Pokemon game, they just make Youngster Joey the champion. That's my dream. That's my dream for the Pokemon franchise. Nothing would make me happier. Judge. <laughs> actually, I don't actually think anything would make me happier. I think that would actually make me smile with glee. That'd be hilarious. You're decent. Thanks, Youngster Joey. When it comes from you, I can really, really get behind it. I freaking hate Pokemon. I stand here all day and get beat by random people passing by. It sucks so much, bro. But at least you have shorts that are comfy and easy to wear because you're a young joy. So that's something. That took me to a great party on the SS Anne of Vermilion City. Oh? Oh? There's pies on the SS Anne? Because we're going to get to that eventually. I'm kind of intrigued. I want to know what kind of party we're going to have. Can I beat a Slowpoke in a 1v1 Garasta? It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to land three Hyper Fangs without missing, which tough on its own. Growl again, okay. I just continue to go for Hyper Fang. I expected it to go for like confusion or something. Yep, there's the confusion. That's probably gonna do a lot. I didn't actually do as much so far, which means I have a little bit of safety. I can go for quick attack and try and KO with this. 
and fail, and fail. I was really hoping it'd be enough, but I mean, Growl, Growl's OP, think about it. Growl, pretty strong. Okay. I'm not mad, you're a little mad, okay? It's okay, buddy, you're a little mad, I understand. Next trainer. Hi, my boyfriend is sexy. <laughs> That's a line, okay? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> what? I can understand if she was, like, next to him. Alright, to give him a little bit of self-confidence, telling random people that he's sexy. Yeah, that'd probably boost his confidence or something, but he's not here. So, what? what's the point? I, I don't understand. But okay, level 19, we're so close. We're actually so close. We're staying in. We're gonna hyperfang this as well. We're gonna run out of hyperfangs, which is unfortunate. So we have five hyperfangs left, so we're not gonna have enough to actually get to level 20 off of just hyperfangs. Double kick. Oh. oh. Okay. I believe we will not get poisoned. Okay. 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 I lied. Um, I totally believed I would get poisoned, but sure, sure, that worked out. Uh, back to Oddish being in front, as we're coming up against a hiker. This strategy has worked so far, so there's no reason to change it. I remember the war. My Pokemon killed so many others. Oh. Oh. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't look that old. Good old Hiker Knob. What a great name. Powerful name. You know, real intimidating to the enemy. You walk up to him and be like, Hi. I'm not. Ooh. Ooh. Hits him in their very soul. You dude bot. Okay, there we go. What else do you have? Have another Geodude. Yeah, yeah, have another Geodude. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. You know, if, if at first you don't succeed with Geodude, you should send out another Geodude. Strategy. Strategy. Yeah, see, that worked real well for him. You know, it's, it's, he's got this. Alright, you ready for a shop or another Geodude? Ah, another Geodude, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. His plan, it's working well, it's working well. Mm -hmm. He's really got the strategy down to a T. I mean, I don't think there's a way he can fail. He's just, you know, this is all part of his preparation. I understand, I understand. And then Machop? I love the fact that I've played through Fire Red at this this many times that I just remember the Pokemon that Hyker Knob has. <laughs> That's my favorite part about this. <laughs> oh no. I've played too much Gen 3. I have played a lot of Gen 3. I will say most ROM hacks are based off of Gen 3. It's not very often you get a ROM hack that's based off of like black and white. I'd say they're way, way less. There's definitely a few, but Fire Red in particular has a lot of ROM hacks. I get why. It's a good game. It's a fan favorite. Gen 3 is just... I would say the sweet spot for... I was gonna say quick and easy games, but I guess they're not always quick and easy, but... Usually. Usually. Um... Rasta has 3 HP, but I'm still gonna lead with it because I'm confident. I'm so cool, I got a hot girlfriend. Oh! Oh! I see. So you all, you're kind of close to each other. It's like you're both shouting at Hiker Knob about how great each other are, which, I mean, he probably doesn't want to hear it. Don't quick attack me. Didn't quick attack me. Wow. Wow, as if this worked out. I genuinely thought I was just gonna get quick attacked. Ekans, that I can't fight though. That will have to bite. Poor Sandshrew, level 12. I've already given up on it. <laughs> uh, that's rough. That's rough. It's a tough time to be a Sandshrew. Intimidate this map, because our bite is a special attack. Beaning will do decent damage with that. We didn't get the flinch this time, but honestly, 2 HP, who cares? Oh, sorry. Let me take that back. 6 HP. Okay, I care a little bit. Ekans is gonna get bot, we can grab the item from behind, and I think we have, like, maybe one trainer left? I think we have one trainer left. So let's grab this, which is gonna be secret power. Are we gonna use secret power? We do have rare candies. We do. 70, 100 accuracy, normal move. 100 accuracy... Compared to... 
compared to 8090. I think we're gonna keep with the 8090 actually. I do. I do think Hype Fang is worth keeping. It has the flinch chance, which I don't think we've really seen at all. But yeah, yeah, we'll 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 stay with what we have at the moment. That should be fine. Boom. I had this feeling, I knew I had to battle you. I guess I was thinking there's one more trainer because I know I can normally just run straight past this dude. One more force trainer, I guess is what I was thinking. Youngster Chad sends out Ekans. Youngster Chad. Imagine going through school being called Youngster Chad. Powerful. Intimidating. It's the type of person that would definitely end up being a bully. Um, Youngster Chad. It's a good name. Oh no. No, come on, the last one didn't poison me. Okay, oh wow. Wow. Wow, okay. I really should look up the poison chance on Poison's thing. I don't actually know the chance. I've just come to accept that it's like 50-50. I think it's actually meant to be like 15%. That could just be a random game. Um, but I feel like it, I definitely read it was 15% at one point. Someone could tell me, that'd be great. So I'll probably forget again by the end of this episode, and I won't go look it up. What is the chance on Poison's thing? <laughs> I genuinely don't know. I really should know this. I think it's 15. I, I'm, I'm gonna be proven wrong. I know I'm gonna be proven wrong, but I'm gonna pretend it's 15 at the moment, and I'm just gonna pretend I'm very unlucky. If it's actually 50%, then... Well, I, I guess I had nothing to complain about all this time. My friend has many cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. Who's your friend and what Pokemon? Because if they had, like... What Pokemon would you describe as the cutest? A cute Pokemon. I genuinely don't know. It didn't attack. Okay, alright, we're still fine. Cute Pokemon. See, my head thinks Bidoof, but it's only thinking Bidoof because it's funny to imagine Bidoof as cute. Okay, it's not cute. It's all I can think of, though. And that's a real problem. I can't think of a cute Pokemon. I can only think of Bidoof. And the more I try and not think of Bidoof, the more I think of Bidoof. <laughs> oh no, it's got me in its clutches. Another sweet scent. Okay. I'm kind of just using Rattata until it gets bopped at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that it's not getting bopped because it's getting me close to level 20, which means I get Raticate, which is... Honestly, I think Raticate is uglier than Rattata, but it's, it's better at the same time. This is going to quick attack. Right? Are we going to get all the way to level 20? Pidgey, please give me enough XP. We did it! We actually did it! We got to level 20 before Bill. Brandland, focus energy. Uh, no. No, I, I'm okay with the moves we have. Tail Whip. You know, it's not the craziest move of all time, but it does its job. HM Trash is evolving. It's still HM Trash, though. That's still what it is. It's evolving from HM Trash to HM Trash. Okay, we don't need to worry about the actual Pokemon itself. It's still the same. It's the same Pokemon. Although we could give it stuff like Flamethrower, and then it would actually be an interesting Pokemon to use. Um, but at the end of the day, it's here for HMs. Trying to land Scary Face. No. <laughs> Not something we need. However, I will have a quick look at its stats. 39 attack, 44 speed? Not bad. Not bad. Stronger than Croconaw. Croconaw's got a two level lead on it, so it's not bad at all. Alright, Bill. Let's see whatever you whatever's going on here. I'm very worried. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. I'm Bill, a human. Seriously. I was researching reproductive intercourse between Pokemon. It's really hot. Feels great. Yeah, I was worried about this. I just wanted to pretend he was gonna have, like, a big old Pokemon army, but no. Unfortunately, I need to turn back to a human. Help me out. Seriously, help me. No? No, don't be so cold. Come on, you gotta help a guy in deep, deep trouble. What do you say, Chief, please? Okay? All right. Or it's like inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. No, I genuinely don't want to help you. You were talking about Pokemon sex. That's not... Uh, I don't... I don't want to help this man. I really don't. He definitely needs help, but I don't want to be the one to help him. I wasn't sure if he was going to come out in like a... I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I was expecting. 
Thanks, bud. So, do you want to know how Pokesex feels? No, not really. No, I'm good. You don't? Sorry, but I can't help myself. It's incredible. I'm gonna try one more time. Thanks, bro. Take this. I don't want to see Bill again. The cruise ship SS Anderson from Million City is a wild party. Girls train as food Pokemon. I go myself, but I was banned because some dumb girl couldn't keep her mouth shut and honor a bribe. F the haters. It's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. We don't need to be here anymore. We don't need to worry about any of that. You two, what's going on? I'm about to get laid. This call girl from the slums is hot. Get the hell out of here, kid. My rate is 100 for the full service. 100, like, poke yen? Isn't that, like, one, like, one pound, one dollar? Isn't that? <laughs> Dang. Let's get stuck. Let's wait until this perv leaves. Haha, <laughs> I've got you now. Nah, it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, one dollar. That's that's rough. At that point, why even charge? <laughs> right, let's go ahead and heal up the team though, as we do have ourselves a Rasto with like no PP left on any of its moves. We can go ahead and heal on up, and I guess start making our way down south. We might be able to get dig actually. We might be able to get Dig. Dig is a ground type move. Dig is a ground type move. You know, if we get Dig, maybe I train up the Sand Shrew. Friggin' Rockets messed up my house, you know, government run insurance won't help. They raided my daughter and stole my TM for Dig. Oh, she was innocent, she's useless now. Well, no, she's not useless, she's probably just, you know, traumatized a little bit. Team Rocket did unspeakable things to me, I want to die. Yeah, that's a fair reaction to, to what happened. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Mm. You know, the uniform that they wear kind of gives them away. So, not really. I really do want to see if Raticate can win a fight against him a chop, which is stupid. I shouldn't be doing this, but also I'm curious. Look at that damage. And we finally got a flinch. There we go. There we go. We got a flinch from Hyper Fang on the time when realistically it probably mattered quite a bit. And you also have a Drowsy, which to be honest, we're just going to stay in. We're going to Hyper Fang again, and we are going to be fine because we have a good old powerful Rash Cave. Can't believe those words coming out of my mouth right now, but they are. Headbutt? Sure. Sure. How about we, we bite your head? That works. That works pretty well. Also, I see that, you know... He has a drowsy after what he did. Yeah, okay, all right. Checks out, checks out. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. No, you're, no, no, you're not allowed to leave quietly. Yeah, there's the TM, now you have to go back in and hand yourself in. No, that, that's not, that's not how that works. Pick up what's lost, is lost. I'll put, <laughs> um, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> I'll put down my hold on to myself. Too bad. Whoa, that is not where I thought that was going. Okay, jeez, that's, that's pretty dark. That's pretty dark. That is pretty dark. Dig on Sanctuary. Sure. Sure. This actually makes it somewhat usable. I mean, we do also have Rock Tomb. And that would give it some decent coverage. Also, it's 50 power, 80 accuracy. I, I don't know if I care. It does drop the speed, though, and Sand Slash is pretty slow. Am I going to use Rock Tomb on anyone else? Could it even learn Rock Tomb? It could. I'm really not going to put it on anyone else. You know what? Let's just use so many TMs that Sand True becomes viable again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make this Sand True viable again. We're going to get rid of... Defense Curl, because I can't see myself ever using Defense Curl. And with this, Sandshrew is now okay. <laughs> it's not trash anymore, but it's it's okay. You know, it's nothing too crazy. With all of that said and done, though, I think... I think, honestly, I'm going to head down to the daycare before we wrap things up, actually. I'm curious about what's up with the daycare. I imagine the daycare is going to be a weird place. Because this is like the last thing before we go to a new area. Daycare. What's happening here? Oh, hi. Let's rob this idiot. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. I was just gonna 
Okay. Cool couple. Miltank and Tauros. This is some scary Pokemon right there. That's a scary double team, actually. How about you don't do that? And the Intimidate, that is actually pretty unfortunate. Um... Which is scarier? Probably Tauros. Tauros is probably scarier. I'm gonna try and Stun Spore the Miltank and get it paralyzed, because it's surprisingly fast, actually. Miltank is pretty fast. Get the Hyper Fang off on the Tauros, which probably isn't gonna do too much. Yeah, definitely didn't do too much. Body Slam onto Oddish, which might... Okay, okay, that's... That's unfortunate, because both of my Pokemon are get, gonna get taken out next turn. So, I mean, I'm kind of forced into a quick attack. And I'm not going to be able to get any move off with Oddish. This is unfortunate. That was a solid crit, though. That was a good crit. Okay. I'm going to bring in Sandshrew here, because it's still got an attack from the Miltank's cough, and I don't want my Pokemon to take damage for nothing. Okay, Body Slam onto Raskate. Raskate goes down. This isn't great. Uh, this, this isn't the best situation. We have the Crocodile, we're not intimidated anymore. Taurus is now confused. I'm gonna actually... Bite you and Rock Tomb you. Please hit yourself. That's a shame. Swagger onto my Croconaw. That's not the Pokemon I wanted to get swaggered. We get growled, which sucks, but I mean, we still have the positive attack, I guess, on Croconaw a little bit. Can we get the bite off? No. And we're gonna hit ourselves for more damage because we got the extra attack increase. And we miss Rock Tomb. That turn genuinely couldn't have gone worse. I'm gonna try for a Mega Kick at this point. I feel like I kinda have to. I'm also gonna try and Rock Tomb the Mill Tank again. Please set yourself in confusion this time, because you didn't last time. That's a shame. I think that means we just straight up lose. Pantry might not even survive this. It does survive, it's paralyzed though. Oh no. Can I have any more bad luck in this fight, please? Okay, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I definitely meant that as in, give me more bad luck. Ah, yeah, okay, full paralysis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, alright. This, uh, this is rough. This, this right here, this is unfortunate. I have to Soda Pop. Although, it's probably better if I try and Mega Kick Tauros and Soda Pop using Sandshrew's turn and let Sandshrew go down. This is like my last chance. I need Tauros to go down this turn. It's gonna Thrash. Sadly, it hits the Croconaw and not the Sandshrew. Not saying Body Slams and doesn't go for the Sandshrew. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Why? Actually, why? Alright, fine. We bite. We bite. We bite. I understand. I made my mistake. I have- I mean, do I have to lemonade? I kind of have to lemonade. This is a very rough fight, you know? I think they would successfully rob a lot of people. Finally, we get it to hit itself in confusion once. Sadly, it's only once, but if we break through Confusion this turn, we're in an okay spot. Come on. Luck is a wonderful thing, isn't it? What if we get paralyzed? Oh? Oh? It's a bit late. <laughs> it's a bit late to finally get an attack off Crocodile, but okay. I don't think I have any way of winning, regardless of how much I potion up or anything. I don't think I can win. Like, a potion isn't going to heal me enough to the point where I'm going to survive the hit. So, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, that's that. We just straight up lose, because Crocodile couldn't get an attack off for like eight turns in a row. That, that was stupid. That was really stupid. And this is why I don't play Pokemon Showdown anymore. Oh my gosh, you actually lost LOL, you must really suck. <laughs> Lamau, game over.
Let's pretend like that just didn't happen. That cool? That's cool. Yeah. I'm happy to pretend that didn't happen. You know, like, we'll just pretend. Lucky to be alive, buddy. I am not lucky. I am not. Don't even use that word. Don't use that word. Don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear the word luck, okay? I just don't. That's not a word that I enjoy. <sighs> right, well, on that horrible note, <laughs> for me at least, that is where we're going to wrap up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I will have a Bye.